Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how to throw a deep vicral suture or any other kind of an absorbable suture that you might be using in a, a deeper skin closure, uh, especially in the operating room. So uh, this is a vicral suture. Vicral is a, an absorbable suture that, um, especially in neurosurgery, uh, for from my experience, um, we're using it uh, to you know, close the deeper layers of tissue because you can't just close the skin. And if your incision, uh, or, you know, is, is deep through fascia and through a lot of subcutaneous or, or a lot of, through a lot of adipose tissue, then you need to help pull that together. And most often we're going to use something like a vicral or another form of an absorbable suture. Okay. Now on our tension base here, uh, with this surgical example, um, we, we do have the opportunity to uh, uh, suture some deep fascia, okay? So this is stronger tissue that's underneath, underneath our subcutaneous fat. And if we need to get a closure there, then we want, want, we'll want to use some absorbable suture like Vicro. So I wanted to point out a couple of things. This can be done in a way similar to uh, simple interrupted where you, you know, you might come here, take a bite, and then reach across and grab the fascia and take another bite and then exit and then pull it through and, and do your tie. And that would be just fine. The only concern that you really need to think about though is to is if the subcutaneous tissue here and the skin is not very thick, if you're Vicral knot is on top of the fascia and this tissue is not very thick You might be running the risk of having your vicral knot get in the way of your healing skin Okay, and that will interrupt the healing of the skin So oftentimes we're going going to throw our vicral suture as an inverted throw and what I mean by that is it's going to be like a sim simple interrupted but upside down so that when we're all said and done and our knot is tied it is the knot is deep the knot is on the opposite side of the fascia okay let me show you how we do that so instead of grabbing over here on the right side first we're gonna grab on the left but we're gonna grab it from underneath okay so we're gonna grab like this come up through the tissue like this okay and I'm gonna grab my needle there, pull it through. So notice how I'm, my, my first throw is deep. And then on the other way, I'm gonna load my needle, not just, uh, so I'm gonna be loading it backhanded, but I'm gonna be holding it in a way that I can hit it, uh, hit this other side at a downward direction, okay? So don't, don't, uh, so we're going to go from bottom to top and then top to bottom so that both of our tails of Vicro in the end are deep to the fascia. So I'll hit here, go deep to straight across, and then I'll be exiting there, uh, in between in the middle. Okay. So I'll push this through a little bit there. Now, um, you want to make sure that, see now I, I, if I pull this up, I've locked it in place. I've got to have both my tails on the same side as the of the knot or of my past does that make sense so i've got to be able to pull it like this rather than having one on one side and one on the other okay now our a lot of the suture that we use like this for uh, in the operating room is going to be a vicro pop-off so then you can just quickly pop off the the needle so now i've got two open ends of vicro see this and then i'm going to be able to do this with a uh, tie this with my hands. I'm going to tie it with a square knot tie where I push it deep into the tissue like this. I'm going to hold that in place while I throw a one-handed square knot and lock this in. So I've got a video for you on one-handed square knots and how to tie this type of a deep suture. But as you can see now, if you look closely, and I'll try to open this up for you. My knot is underneath the fascia. Okay, so as I pull this up tight, I want to cut my tails right down on top of the knot. And as that happens, the knot is going to sink down underneath the fascia. And see, now I don't have to worry about my knot being up here above and getting in the way of the skin healing. So does that make sense? So it's an inverted 
simple interrupted of vicryl that you hand tie because an instrument tie that deep in the tissue is is very difficult so with vicryl we we tie it with a hand tie whether it's a one-handed or a two-handed square knot so um but hopefully uh that was a a simple demonstration to follow and um thanks for watching thanks